Filling red cells with hemoglobin is all about balance. Despite being on different chromosomes, the globin genes are designed to put out the right amount of product, so the output is balanced, with about the same amount of alpha and beta chains. There is also communication with iron uptake and heme synthesis in the mitochondria, so the ratios work out and hemoglobin is assembled without any leftover, potentially toxic components. This results in cells with the normal amount of hemoglobin per cell, and because the amount of hemoglobin influences the size of the cell, the cell comes out normocytic, normal-sized. In beta thalassemia trait, one beta gene carries one of the hundreds of mutations that can make it underproduce. The alpha genes keep pumping, and you end up with a mild excess of alpha chains that aggregate, precipitate, and are proteolized by the cell's own protein quality control system before they can do any damage. Ultimately, there is a deficiency of beta globin, less hemoglobin A formed, less hemoglobin per cell, and because the amount of hemoglobin influences the size of the cell, the cells are smaller than normal, microcytic, have a target morphology, and the individual may or may not have a mild degree of anemia. Because gamma production is not affected, there is a relative increase in the proportion of F in the cell. Similarly, there is a relative increase in the proportion of A2 in the cell. When both beta genes carry a thalassemia mutation, there is even more excess alpha globin. These aggregates overwhelm the normal quality control systems, precipitate, become toxic oxidants, and cause apoptosis. This premature death in the marrow defines ineffective erythropoiesis. The amount of excess alpha determines the severity of the decreased production anemia. Little or no hemoglobin A is produced depending on the severity of each thal mutation. There is less hemoglobin per cell, and the cells are microcytic. The relative proportion of hemoglobin A2 is increased, but A2 output cannot increase to compensate. Homozygous beta thalassemia is basically a disorder that requires lifelong transfusion. If not transfused, these patients survive based on how much compensatory fetal hemoglobin they can make, although this is rarely enough to support even a minimally functional lifestyle. You will learn more about the clinical classification of thalassemia, including the category thalassemia intermedia.